Hey guys, Javano here, and uh, I've got a short redstone-related tutorial information type video. Not really sure what to call it. Uh, I will be covering a new mod I discovered, which is redstone-related, obviously. Uh, now, I don't normally cover mods, but since this mod is pretty much seamless once you install it, um, you can't really... I don't even think of it as a mod. Uh, after you install it, it's basically another object you have in the game. And also, I've heard talk of it actually being included in one of the future Minecraft updates, so I figured, eh, it's got a chance of actually being in the game itself, so why not get an early tutorial out? If not, it's a really sweet mod to have. It's got a whole bunch of applications. Now, this thing is called the Piston, and I'll show you how to make one before I show you what it does. Now, what you do is you go to your crafting bench, you take your iron ingots, you go like this, like you're going to make a bucket or a uh, minecart rather, and then you put one on, on top, I'm just going to make two because I want a couple of these, like this, and then you just put redstone in the middle, and there you go, you got your piston. Now uh, I won't actually show you how to uh, install the mod, I'll leave a download link in the description of this video, but it just works like any other mod with mod manager, so uh, I'm assuming you guys know how to do that. If you guys really want, uh, ask me and I'll, I can easily make a tutorial on how to use mod manager, how to install this type of thing if you're having issues. But I will assume you know how to do that. So uh, what the piston is, is it's basically a block that when it receives redstone power, it uh, extends one block further in the direction it's facing, like that. And how you can choose what direction it's facing, which is actually a cool system. Uh, none of the actual mine blocks or Minecraft blocks look, work like this, except for the piston, but you uh, just right click on it and it will face in the direction you are like this so it, it works on any side top bottom left right forward backwards and yeah it, it works really well I found very few glitches the only real thing I've found is that sometimes it it won't update unless the actual source block is removed type thing but I haven't actually run into, into any problems to do with that it's really just a kind of a me being picky thing. But yeah, uh, around here I've got scattered some various uses I've found for it. Uh, let's start off with um, an elevator. So you see, how do you get up there? I don't know. Maybe let's press the button. We Lift off. And uh, I just left the pool down here so I can jump down and survive. But how it works is you've got your pistons down here facing up and the button on the wall which triggers this redstone, and this redstone goes under and triggers the pistons. It's a really simple system. So basically, when you hit the button, it triggers the pistons, and uh, if you're standing on a piston when it triggers, it shoots you flying upwards. Like that. Um, another use, which is actually extremely similar, is uh, to launch any physics-based block. So right now it's just sanding gravel, I believe. But you can just launch them up, and they come back down, like that. Whee. You can also do the uh, same thing with yourself. And I'm not going to be able to hit the button from here, but it's it's the same way the elevator works, like that. Um, another thing is, uh, this is a more complicated use. Like uh, you won't, you, most people probably won't be able to use this in any efficient way. But you can also use it to uh, remove a piece of redstone, or a redstone torch, or anything like that. So, it's useful if you want to kind of cut out a circuit at any point in time. It's really hard to explain, but yeah, for those of you who know how to use that type of thing. And uh, another thing is a trampoline. Now the reason I have it in water is so you don't take fall damage. Whee. And it's just a... Um, piston that's attached to a uh, repeater. So the repeater is constantly going off, constantly triggering the piston. And yeah, they just bounce up and down. Um, the last use I have is, I did not design this. I found a, uh, I saw another video that had some guy that designed this uh, lava water creating the cobblestone thing, which is an ingenious design. But uh, if you don't know, when water comes in contact with lava, it uh, creates cobblestone. Unless the water comes in contact with the lava source block, then it creates obsidian, but that's irrelevant for this point. 
Right now it's just water contacting regular lava, which will create a cobblestone, and then the piston will actually push that block up. Because when a piston, uh, it pushes a block that's a non-physics block, like dirt. Here. Get this set up again. This? No. Yep. <laughs> uh, uh, resetting it. There, like dirt. It'll just push it. And since it's non-physics block, it won't come back down. Now, um, how this works is it's just, this is a uh, delayed repeater. That's why I have these in here. It's just a repeater with a bunch of them for uh, added delay. And you'll see what this does. Piston. And every time it retracts, it, the, uh, it allows the water and the lava to touch, which creates a cobblestone. And then it pushes back up, pushes the cobblestone out of the way, and repeats. So it can basically just create cobblestone out of nothing. And uh, there's a pretty infinite amount of uses for this. I've seen people make like bridges that just build themselves and repair themselves and stuff like that. Now, it eventually will cap out. I think it's uh, in between 20 and 30 blocks, something like that. It will eventually not be able to push them anymore. So uh, that's why I have that one up there. So uh, it's not actually linked up at the moment, but I can set it just to push and push and push like that. I will as soon as this caps out. Uh, should be last block. Yeah, see it can't push it anymore. It's too high. So what I did is I just did this. And now I'll start pushing it sideways. And it'll push one up and push it sideways, push one up, push it sideways. But you get the point. And... Uh, yeah, these are just a few simple uses I've found. Uh, I was kind of in a hurry to get this video out because this mod's starting to become really popular. And I wanted to kind of beat the uh, mob to it. You know what I mean? So, yeah, I'll probably post a video if I can find any bigger, bigger uses for it. But until then, thanks for watching. See you guys.